building. All right, so what we're going to talk about today is a normal sit 820 millivolt valve. You've got your thermal couple, your thermal pile. So just a normal, you got a switch, turn it on and off. But let's say what you really want to do is you want to turn that into a remote control uh, package. And so you get the sit GTM. It's called the GTM remote control. It's got a remote control. It's got a uh, receiver that's going to talk to the remote. It's got a stepper motor that's going to replace your high-low knob. It's got some wiring harnesses so that this receiver can control it. So your first thing is going to be you're going to use a Torx T20 screwdriver and you're going to take off the three screws right here on your high-low knob. This is your valve regulator. It, it regulates the pressure. you got three Torx T20 screws. You're going to loosen those up. You're going to remove this. And whenever you take a regulator off, you make sure you go all the way down to bare metal. There's little gaskets and little plastic pieces. Get that clear out of there. Okay, so that'll be empty. Um, you're going to open up the regulator that comes in a package. And it's going to go on exactly like the other, the manual high-low knob comes off. You're going to put a stepper motor. It just replaces it. And it's got a wire plug. And just like when you put, when you tighten the lug nuts on changing a wheel on a car... You're going to get it snug and then you're going to go around back and forth because you want it nice and even and compress the gasket. You want a tight seal but don't over tighten it. Don't get too rowdy because that's just an aluminum valve body. You could strip it. But you want to get that nice and tight and compress the gasket so you don't have a gas leak. So now your motor's on there and it's got a flat plug. See that little flat plug? This is going to go into your harness. It's pretty easy. Obviously here it is. Here's the matching plug. It actually says motor on it. They mark their harness really good. Uh, on the other parts on the harness is there's a TH and a TPTH. Those are going to connect on your valve where it matches up TH or TPTH. So that's pretty easy. There's going to be another plug, flat plug on here that says FCM COM, three wire plug. And that only is used if you're using a fan control module, which is another optional piece that you could add to this to control the speed of your fan. Um, there's a split flow that's only used if you have a burner system that's a front rear burner system. Um, so I don't think that's used very often. And then there's the plug that plugs into the back of the remote receiver. So that's literally your harness. It's pretty straightforward. Um, not a lot to say on the remote control. It's a standard sit remote control. Uh, it does need to be either the old 584.023 I think was a common one. Uh, the newer ones are going to be 584.040, but if you have one that's .080, that's going to be the wrong remote. That's not going to work for this particular system. Um, in the receiver box, you open it up, there's the receiver. It's going to take four AA batteries. Uh, you slide the, the new ones out the tabs on the side. You slide it up. The battery trays come out. You put the batteries in there, four AA's. Uh, when you close it and latch it, you should get a beep, and that basically is just acknowledging that it sees the power. Uh, you get a beep, and when you plug that flat plug in the back, you should be able to control your fireplace on and off. Uh, to synchronize this receiver battery box, this is actually the brain of the system now, uh, you would have to have your batteries in the handheld, in your transmitter, and you would push the program button, you get a tone, and then you push the top button on the handheld and it'll synchronize the transmitter to this receiver. And your receiver, again, is your brain now. It's going to get the signal from the remote and it's going to tell the stepper motor and the valve to turn on and off. That's literally it. That's the whole system. Hope that helps.